So I did it. I fell into the AliExpress black hole. I randomly stumbled on one of those AliExpress unboxing videos on YouTube. And next thing I know, <laughs> I had 68 or 500 tabs of AliExpress items open. And after several hours, I finally ordered. Um, or at least that's what I think happened because, you know, this was like 63 months ago and it took this long for my package to arrive. Um, so anyway, here's the package. I am going to be doing an unboxing. I'm very excited. And so yeah, let's see together what I got. Wow, it's pretty, pretty well organized, I would have to say. So here it is. All right, let's start. I'm just gonna open everything because it's time. So I honestly, you know, the best part about this is I actually barely remember the things I ordered. I just know the general vagueness that it was just like all junk journal-y, scrapbook-y type things, um, vintage. So we'll see. Um, okay, this is washi tape that is in the shape of stamps. And I think you can rip them open individually. So I'm, I think this is tape and not um, just cards. So I'm very excited for that. That looks really nice. And I think I kind of just want to open it too, just to show you guys. What the heck, right? I'm going to use it anyway, or supposedly going to be using it. Let me get a uh, scissor so I can... Man, this, this is some tough plastic. There it is. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. I think it is tape because it's stuck together and I cannot find where the first one is. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. This is pretty cool. This will come in very handy if I can get it open. Oh yeah, there it is. Very nice. Oh no, it's ripped. I'm having technical difficulties, as you can see. There it is. Oh, hmm. This is kind of giving me issues. I think, I think it's old or cheap washi. All right, that's that's a bust so far. First item. Second thing is another. I think this might be. I don't know what this is. I do need to get scissors. By the way. If you're watching this, I would put it at like 1.5 speed or two, or just like press the press the side buttons just to skip things. Um, I won't take it personally if you don't tell me. All right, let's see. I don't know what this is. Ooh, stamp! Awesome. Okay, I'm very excited about that. That's gonna be that's gonna be really nice. Okay, cool. Very excited about that. I think this might be another stamp. And I got these all from one store. And I'll, if I remember, I'll link it below. Cool. Also very nice. So it's this, which is sort of like a, um, a crumbled chessboard. That's going to be exciting to use also. Random, just random decorations for a page design. Look at this beautiful box. Oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> I think this is washi tape in this shape. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Wow, that is really beautiful. Look at that. And it's um, it's adhesive on a, on a backing. So that's gonna be really exciting to use. Hopefully it doesn't, it's not, um, a bust. All right, last item I think is another stamp. These are like well, everything is just like so nicely put together, isn't it? They did a really good job with the packaging, I think. They didn't have to, you know, and yet they still did. Another, yes, another stamp, um, also really nice. 
pretty good, pretty good size, like a, I guess like a monthly calendar view, but you know, who knows what I'll use it for, probably just for more design elements. All right, let's put this back. So far, everything seems okay, except for that first washi, which was um, ripping. I gotta figure it out. Maybe it's just the first few, and after that, it'll be fine. Okay, here's some paper products. I love this. I literally cannot remember anything I bought, because it was like a month and a half ago or more. Ooh, pretty paper, very pretty. Let's open it. By the way, I got one of these plastic envelopes where instead of having the adhesive here, the adhesive was here so that you could pull things in and out without it getting caught on this lip. And I was like, why are they, why are they not all like that? It makes so much more sense. So you don't have to sit there and like try to fiddle with this like I'm doing now. All right, this is, this is not what I was expecting. This is basically just... Print, printouts. Um, I thought it was like, I don't know what I was thinking actually, I can't remember, but it looked prettier on screen or else I wouldn't have bought it. Cause I ended up putting like a thousand things on my cart and then like slowly whittling it down to like, I don't know, like 15. Yeah, these are not what, I don't know what these are, but I'm not really that impressed by them. It's basically just paper with um, drawings. And I think, I don't think this is what I was, I ordered. So I'll have to take a look at that. Um, old ticket, a pad of paper with old tickets. This is really cool. I'm very excited about that. And I think they're per perforated so you can rip them. Yeah. Oh, and they're different. Oh, I'm excited to use that. They're different. They're the same, just different colors. And I think this is, um, I'm not sure what language it is. Maybe it's just nonsense. I don't know what 90 con is. I don't know what, um, what country that's from. I guess I'll have to find that out later, unless one of you knows. All right. Another pad of invoices, which the funny thing is when I first bought this, I had no invoices, no receipt paper, nothing. And through swaps and happy mail, I now have so many that I actually don't really need this, but um, you know, can still use it, so it's okay. And I think it was like a dollar eighty-three or something like that. Yeah, it's all the same. Just them. Um, Clover Farm store egg saver, but it feels like vintage paper actually. Like it, it's kind of um, it's kind of like slight. It has a slight texture to it, which I really like. Um, whereas all the other invoices that I got are all more modern. Um, like the kinds of like actual restaurants and diners use now. Okay, another one, ice cream wholesale and retail. I'm not gonna open it, but I really like that too. Good journaling spots. Um, some random little ephemera and tags. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Looks really, looks and feels really old actually, but it's not a lot. I don't know, everything, everything on the website looks like it's going to be so much. And then here it's not that much, but I mean, really, I don't, do I need that much? Do I really need that much? Um, random tickets. These are really pretty. Can't wait to use that. Old concerts. And then I got a bunch of stamps, which I realize now I don't need again because I got a giant stack of them in Happy Mail, but comes in a pretty vellum envelope and yeah ooh, maybe I do need these because they have some fancy silver shimmer metallic on it oh yeah I like that okay I'm, I don't regret this purchase actually I really like that imagine inking the edges a little bit making it look a little antique and then leaving just that that shimmer to pop out oh yeah that's gonna be nice good purchase I like this one. I'm happy with it. Okay. 
Let's put this back in its bag. See what I'm talking about? If they had just put the adhesive on here instead of back here, it wouldn't be crumpling like this. It would just slide down really easily and um, it wouldn't be stuck the way it is. So anyway, more manufacturers should be doing that, but I think I'm screaming into the void. Ooh, washi and stamp. This I'm excited for. I hope, I hope this does not let me down. Oh yeah, a set of bottles, beaker, and long stemmed flower stamps. I'm excited for these because they look so pretty. I hope that they are okay, but I don't see why it wouldn't be, unless they're just not solid when they stamp. Excited for that. Beautiful packaging. Um, I think this is just small paper. Um, I feel like this has become like a signature Ollie product that you always see in swaps or on on YouTube. It's just teeny tiny matchbox size papers and ephemera. <laughs> oh no, this is actually a stamp. What does it say? Handmade. Oh, handmade. Very cool. Okay, I'm excited. That's going to be awesome. Love that. And then just a bunch of washi. Um, this is mushroom washi. I don't want to open it. I feel like I should you know, I open it. This is like giving me a hard time to like to unravel. Let's hope I have better luck with this one. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time also with this. Yeah, this is not, this is not like this is like not ripping well, which means it's old. Yeah, that's the second washi that's like that. And I have a feeling these might be the same. I'm just gonna have to give them a try and if not, I'm gonna have to return them because um, I'm not gonna be okay with that. I'll test them all out later. I think I'll do a video on um, testing out the washi. <laughs> All right, okay, more washi, more stamps. Ooh, yes, more long, long form stamps. Ooh, and it comes with a little booklet. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, these stamps are very soft. They are like super soft. But hopefully they do what they're supposed to do. Um, these are the designs. Let me put them up closer. I'll test these all out in the, in the next video, I think, just to show you guys how everything is. B. B stamp. Very cool. Love that. Very cute. I think this might be another stamp. Yeah, this is like a, I think this might be a number stamp. Oh yeah, individual numbers. Cool, very cool. Okay, I'm gonna be excited to use that. And they're like negative, so it's like dark and not um, just the number itself, but the dark number. All right, and then these 
washi. I'm gonna try it out later. I don't wanna open it up now and like be disappointed. Here's another stamp. It's gonna be really pretty, I think, to use, I hope. I think this is another stamp. Ooh, yeah. The button and string enclosure, which is now my favorite thing to make. But I just thought it would be cool to kind of use it as a stamp also. Just kind of whimsical and cute and tongue-in-cheek. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Almost looks like a bicycle or a motorcycle. And this is another one. This is like a stamp stamp. Like a postage stamp stamp. Oh yeah. I like that. That's really pretty. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is surprising because everything else is at AliExpress. I feel like it's always like tinier than you think it's going to be. Everything in there. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. How do they do it? Alright, last bag. More washi and more paper, perforated paper it looks like. Yeah. Oh, okay, this washi is really pretty. I just hope it works. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm definitely gonna do a video on trying out the washi. More washi here. These are really beautiful though. This washi is beautiful designs. Oh my gosh, look at that. This was um. I think this is like film, like like old, like not old, but like just like film negatives um, in the washi form. And then here is a little flower. Um, I think this might be postage stamps, maybe. Let's see. Oh, vellum. Just vellum pages. So not postage, not stickers, just um, vellum pieces of florals. This would be cool for specimen cards, I think, or um, like see-through pockets. If you want, oh, which I kind of want, want to try. So here's another washi. Look how pretty that is. It's um, tied and twine. Okay, I just hope it works well. Right, I'm gonna try that also. And this is another stamp. This is um, safety pin stamp. Also excited to use that. I thought that's gonna be really pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, excited for that. And last but not least is this little pad of book plates, I think, or frames, I guess, but you, can, you know, thinking in junk journal terms is more book plate style. It is very thin, so you'd have to use it sort of like as a collage thing. Um, it can't really stand up on its own. It's like a little thicker than uh, copy paper, maybe like bond paper. Uh, but it's really pretty. Love this creamy manila color. So yeah, that's what I got. There's some ups, there's some downs. And be on the lookout for my video where I test out the stamps, the stickers, the washi, and just see how it all is and see if it's worth it. All right, thanks. Bye.